video was made possible by EA Game Changers. <laughs> Welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger and yet again another life build for the second socialite mansion that I built recently and I'm still using The Sims Free Play's early access game to do this. Now start with your pulls at both far ends of the big plot and then count. That's six grids away and then place down a two by one room and again another two by one room six grids away from the front of the plot count again five grids away and set another one by two room just adjacent of the first one you see here and repeat the same thing here count <laughs> two three four five and the next one is your adjacent one by two room okay you can always slow this down to see what happened <laughs> and you can see that it's a long video so i have to move on now pay attention to the exact location where you see me place the pools. The reason for this is, of course, if you make mistakes, you can always do it again, but you need to save simoleons. You don't want to waste simoleons if it's hard for you to come by. <laughs> so <laughs> this is why I had to practice and practice and practice to make sure that I set things down in one go so you can save costs because pools are very expensive. So right there, place your next pool. And over here with a dot right there, the next pool. Now, of course, if you were able to follow this through exactly as I've done, you wouldn't spend any more than you have to on creating the pools for this property because we're done with that. And now we're changing the pool paving. You don't have to if you don't want to. Maybe you want a different look to the exterior of the property. That's entirely up to you. But for the look that you had seen in the tour, these are the options that I had gone for. And interestingly, I went for a different shade of pool water, but I won't do that here because I just don't have enough simoleons in this game. <laughs> okay, at this point, I'm trying to create the entrance to the house. Do realize that the patio that you see, or well, the paving you see around the pool is obviously pool paving, but this is actually patio paving. So a one by five set down exactly where you see. Uh, and then we're going to put down a one by two and a one by two over here. Just set it down that way to save costs. And then match up the paving to the pool. But for this one here, make it that color or any other color that you want, depending on the color of your house. Then pull it accordingly to catch up with the rest of the paving. So that's what I chose to do. And you can have a different shade. So if your house was black, then maybe that has to be black and then the rest of the house black. You know, something like that. <laughs> right now we're going to get started with the rest of the build it's straightforward I'm not going to carry on to the end I just wanted to talk through this part and I wish you the best of luck with the event I realize you need well over a thousand constructor coins to actually complete this event which is a lot and for me as a VIP I do occasionally purchase unique items in the store and I say to myself sometimes I might buy I don't know a chocolate cake and eat it and it's really of no use to me and at the same time I could for less purchase something really small for say $4.99 in the game store and enjoy it in my game but I do this over a period of time I've been in the game for about seven years so over the years when this VIP system came in I finally worked my way up to VIP 10. So it's been a long process of buying very little things here and there, and it all added up, okay? So as a result of being a VIP 10, I am able to get the free seed, uh, free social point seed plant, and I save them up between events. So say 30 days, 40 days between, or even 60 days up to another event, I would have saved 60 free social points. Uh, seeds and I would then say a couple of weeks before I suspect that there will be an update begin spinning at the wheel I don't spin say spin at the wheel spinning the plant um, I don't do it when the event has already gone live because then there's a lot of pressure and you know you start panicking in my casual time I might just sit there watching an episode of some soap opera or something and I would keep spinning between my iPad and my iPhone and re-uploading from my iPad and keep giving it a try on my iPhone. There is a video up for this. It's called How I Finish on Time. 
look for that video it's supposed to come up in the top right hand corner of your screen if you're watching on a device I would think and you could click on that and see what I do there are some tips and tricks to finishing early so I would spin away and before an event goes live I would then have maybe three to four thousand social points and that gives me a very good head start because then I can use the social points to get my sims working the eight hour shifts on these workstations and completing them straight away and getting the bonus um, resources and then I save enough to spin the um, constructor coin plant with 25 social points and use that to target the three grasshoppers that give you 500 constructor coins so you've got to get those 500 constructor coins twice <laughs> and that's a lot but I save spinning of the constructor coin obviously for when the events gone live because that's when you get that plant but prior to that I spin away casually during the course of weeks and stuck up on social points um, in the game so what I have done so far is I have at the moment uh, gone up to I need to unlock one more thing and I know this is day number we're two days down and I need to unlock one more thing <laughs> but purchase two items so I'm, I'm sure I will finish somewhere along the line I will finish in time because I've got about eight days left so that's really good so just look at that video and see the things that I do there are also ways to make sure that you uh, don't have to go through the whole two hours and 30 minutes of restocking the workstation you can skip that there are some tips and tricks for that as well in the video so go ahead and check that out okay <laughs> I do wish you the best and what you see me doing here is trying to set out balconies so that we can carefully map out the couple of balconies that create an illusion to match up with the glass tower in the house so I'm just going to work my way around and I'll talk through this just in case but if you don't want that uh, separation of balcony pavings then just go right ahead fill it out and just choose one color for your paving so set your balconies down exactly in the steps that you see here that way you would save costs if you intend to have the balcony illusion okay now you'll know what I'm talking about if you've watched the live tour you would see what it looks like so we have to be careful that we set down these balcony pieces in such a way that when we choose balcony color options they don't just take over the entire block of paving okay <laughs> so just set it down this way and you'll see how it's going to turn out a little bit like the patio arrangement we did for the entrance of the house earlier so I'm just going to tug that along that way and add a square bit there and then repeat that action across the other way down here so pull that along to the pillar and create a square bit there now I think we're going to actually I think eventually I, I show you what it looks like so you have an idea that you've done the right thing <laughs> there you go so there you are this is what it should look like at this point so you're on track so now we're going to choose the patio paving that we want and again your house might have a different color and so your patio paving choices might vary that's the color that I want because the house itself is gray and then over on this side as well and I want the color of the roof on the back there but for these two bits on the side we're going for the dark gray slate mat there just like the roof and the patio paving down below by the pool now I'm going to pull them to touch each other and now I've maintained the colors separately on one balcony piece that's the whole point of separating them before choosing the colors and I think that's the most complicated part just like the pool down below after that everything else should be a piece of cake <laughs> Uh, so yes a few more balconies to carve out the roof and to carve out the glass tower 
and we should be done. So I'm not going to be here, as I say, to the end of the video. If you choose to replicate this in your town, don't forget to use the hashtag Joyce Creative Finger if you choose to put it up on any social media platform, be it Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and so on. Now, I love to see your own recreations of this on the Facebook page. So don't forget to post pictures. Some of you posted on Instagram and I do come around and look at it. I want to see what you've done differently. And I get inspired by that anyway, because I then see, oh, I could have done that. And it's just nice to be part of the community where I can also see what you're doing as well. And I get inspired for the next creation. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Best of luck. Bye.